Damn, I'm sitting here with fucking pie on my face right now. Oh my god, man. I'm about to drop y'all a Thunderdome video right now. <laughs> so take I'm about to take my time so y'all bear with me. We got we got a lot to get into in this video. I got a lot that I got to discuss in this video. So I don't want to rush through it. I want I want you guys to get what I'm saying, understand what I'm saying in this video. Shout out to uh, the Fight Guru. I just saw his tweet on uh, Twitter, just saw it, and he also released an article from BoxingNews.com, and man, I gotta say, I'm shocked, when I saw that article, I was very shocked, I was stunned, I couldn't believe it when I saw that article from BoxingNews.com, man, I know somewhere a precise presenter in Maxwell Bear, I know you guys are probably doing jumping jacks right now, probably celebrating it. <laughs> I know y'all probably ecstatic right now after hearing this news, but I saw the article from BoxingNews.com and it says that Povetkin is a clean fighter. Said that he's now clean. I got to give my thoughts about that because y'all know I did the video when they said Povetkin failed his A and B sample. I came at Povetkin. I blasted Povetkin. I ripped Povetkin. Called him a cheater. I called him. I ripped his ass pretty good. So, like a man, I will admit, if the WBC clears Povetkin, I will admit that I was wrong. I'm man enough to admit and apologize to that man if I was wrong. So, I'm going to wait and see what the WBC got to say. But, as far as the article from BoxingNews.com, that's a strong, strong article, man. And it's very, it's highly likely that I've may, I may... May have been wrong. I may have been wrong about Alexander Povetkin, according to this article. See, apparently, man, there's a lot of miscommunication, a lot of misinformation about when this drug was banned. The article is claiming that Povetkin took this drug last year when the drug was legal, therefore leaving trace amounts of malodomium in his system. When we talk about trace amounts, we're talking about maybe... A small amount, very small amount of the drug still in his body because he took it last year. Now, like I said, this drug was banned, I believe, in the beginning of uh, January, I believe. The drug was banned. So the article is stating the reason that he had those trace amounts in his system is because he took, he took the drug last year when the drug was legal. So it's a lot of gray area, man, when you're banning drugs, when drugs are legal. That's why they need to get a better job on making these drugs legal and illegal. And when they do it, man, because it's very confusing. And you can wind up with a fighter getting caught with that shit in his system with small trace amounts still in his system. If y'all understand what I'm saying. So he had these new tests done with the Vada Doping Agency. All his tests came back clean, his new tests. But like I said, I contacted the WBC and Mr. Suleiman did. He did inform me that Alexander Povetkin will be given due process and they're going to make a statement and a ruling shortly. Now, by shortly, that could mean today, tomorrow. <laughs> it could mean a week, a month. Who knows with the WBC? But I'm going to make my ruling, um, my opinion based on what Mauricio Suleiman says and the WBC. If the WBC clears Povetkin and they say the shit was from trace amounts from when he took it last year, I'm going to clear the man. If they rule that he is guilty and they strip him of his number one mandatory position, then I'll hold my own stance and my stance from the beginning. And you already know that because I ripped Povetkin. So it's still a wait and see game. But as of now, it looks as though I may have been wrong. I may have been wrong about Alexander Povetkin, but I still want to see more facts. And like I said, I want to see what the WBC has to say about this. And like I said, I'm a grown ass man. And if I'm wrong about Povetkin, I will admit I was wrong. So let's see. That's a wait and see game. Let's see what the WBC got to say. I'm very interested to see what my boy Mauricio Suleiman has to say about this whole situation. But uh, yeah, man, very. <laughs> Very interesting article. I will put that article in the description box so you guys can read it for yourself and come to your own surmise. You can 
make up your own opinions and thoughts about it. Uh, man, I mean, I'm still in shock. Man, I really don't know what to say about this article, man. This shit got my ass in shock. Got me sitting here with fucking pie on my face. Woo, boy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these new developments. Comment in the video. Comment in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. And subscribe. I'm out.